This lesson's on tangential and normal components of acceleration. So I have a vector valued function R of t here and I could find its velocity. So its velocity V of t might be there. But we know that the unit tangent vector is parallel to V of t. So the unit tangent vector T of t is just some portion of that. So let's say this portion right here. And then N of t is perpendicular to that. That is here, let's call that N of t. Now, what I wanna think about is I wanna think about how does the acceleration work relative to these two things? So here is A of t. Here is the acceleration vector A of t. And the thing that you need to remember is that T of t N of t and A of t are coplanar. So they lie in the same plane. So that means if I start with any vector in that plane like A of t, it is some multiple of T of t plus some multiple of N of t. A of t is a linear combination of those two vectors. And we want to determine what those multiples are. So some multiple in the t direction plus some multiple in the n direction will get us that acceleration vector a of t. So let's take a look at a picture to see if we can better understand that concept. I have my vector valued function r of t here in purple, this purple curvy function. The acceleration vector is here. Notice it is in between t and n. But this thing called a sub t, what is that? That's the length of this piece. A sub n is the length of this piece. So if I take this vector from here to here, thinking of this as a vector, plus this vector from here to here, those two vectors added together will give me the acceleration vector a. So what do you think those two vectors are? What is the vector that starts here and ends there? How do we think about this? Unit tangent vector has length one. The length of that vector is a sub t. It is in the same direction as, as t of t. So this vector starting here and ending there is simply a sub t times t. Similarly, n has length one, but this vector is gonna have length a sub n. So this vector is going to be a sub n times n. So the vector a sub t times t, this vector, plus going this way, a sub n times n will get us directly to the vector a. So this is what we need. Now, a sub t is the tangential component of acceleration. a sub n is the normal component of acceleration. So let's add those things in. We're gonna call this a sub t. We're gonna call this a sub n and define those terms. So we have those, and let's take like one more picture just so we can better understand this concept. So here's another one. You'll notice there's my acceleration vector. Velocity is something in that direction, but you'll notice they're just decomposing A into a vector in the direction of T, that's A sub T times T of T, plus this vector, which is a sub n times n of t, notice that's parallel to the black vector here. So the acceleration vector equals a sub t times t, the pink vector, plus a sub n times n, the black vector, gives us the green vector, the diagonal of the parallelogram, which in this case is a rectangle. So that's our idea. So what exactly is a sub t? What exactly is a sub n? a sub t is the length of that vector we just looked at. It's the length of the vector a sub t times t of t, right? Can we see that? This vector here starting from here to here is a sub t times t, so its length is just a sub t. And similarly, a sub n is the length of a sub n times n. a sub n would be the length of this black vector, a sub n times n. I hope it's kind of obvious why that has to be true, right? A sub t will always be positive. Length of t of t is always one. 
So the magnitude of a sub t would just be the absolute value of a sub t. It's always positive, so it'll just be a sub t times the magnitude of t of t, which is just one, which again, it shows us that a sub t equals a sub t, and the similar kind of argument happens for a sub n. But then our question is, how do we find a sub t and a sub n? That's our next question. So here's where we are. We need to remember the acceleration vector a of t is a sub t times t of t plus a sub n times n of t. Well, let's look at what happens when we take the dot product of the acceleration with the unit tangent vector. So here's the acceleration vector right here, a sub t times t of t plus a sub n times n of t, dot product with t of t. And the dot product behaves the way we want it to behave. It distributes nicely. So we get a t times t of t dot t of t plus a n n of t dot t of t. So a of t dot t of t is a sub t times t of t dot t of t. Now think about that for a minute. What will t of t dot t of t be? t of t dot t of t is the length of t of t squared. And we know what the length of t of t is because it is a unit tangent vector. Plus over here, a sub n times n of t dot t of t. What will those be? What will n of t dot t of t be? So continuing with this argument, a sub t dot t of t is a sub t tangential component of acceleration times the magnitude of t of t squared plus a sub n. Now, have we determined what n of t dot t of t is? Let's remember the unit normal and the unit tangent are orthogonal, so their dot product is zero. So we get a of t dot t of t is a of t times one squared plus zero. And we get our strategy for determining a sub t. So the tangential component of acceleration, a of t, is simply a of t dot t of t. So our next goal is to determine what a sub n is, what is the normal component of acceleration. And I bet you can come up with a strategy here. What do you think we're going to do. Remember, a sub t was a of t dot t of t. So what do you think a sub n will be? And if you thought it was a of t dot n of t, let's see if that's correct. So what is a of t dot n of t? a sub t times t of t plus a sub n times n of t dotted with n of t. Sorry, that looks like a dot. Let's make it multiplication or something. I don't like the looks of that, really. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do our dot product here. So a of t dot n of t is a t, t of t dot n of t <clears throat> plus a n n of t dot n of t. So where does that leave me? A of t dot n of t is a sub t, t of t dot n of t, and I bet you know what that's going to be, plus a sub n, n of t dot n of t, I bet you know what that's going to be too. So what do we get? We get a of t dot n of t is a sub t times zero, t is orthogonal to n, plus a sub n times the magnitude of n of t squared. So a of t dot n of t is zero plus a sub n times one, a of t dot n of t is a sub n. So let's collect all of the facts that we need from today's lesson. We know the acceleration a of t, 
is a sub t times t of t. That a sub t is a scalar, it's a number, not a vector, a sub n times n of t. And how do we get a sub t? a sub t is the dot product of the acceleration with the unit tangent. And how do we get a sub n? a sub n is the acceleration vector with the unit normal vector.